Good morning. I, uh, I'm going to touch on the uh, really a couple things. The, uh, the, the cost of the project has just been described, and then we're going to talk about what our financing plans are. Uh, but, but first, those, those projects that uh, Randy just outlined, parking deck came in at a gross cost of $10,500,000. Generator plant is the same, the same cost roughly at, at 10 to 5. The new patient tower, this includes all the equipping. These are total project costs, uh, $67 million. And then the acquisition of Smith Northview uh, at 55. So all total, the, uh, the new projects that have been described have a total cost of $143 million. We, as you know, have in, in the current swaths, uh, $3 million has been set aside for parking deck uh, construction. Uh, so we are offsetting what our financing needs are by that $3 million. And we plan to use internal funds Twenty-five million. So, so our, our our last amount for new projects is one hundred and fifteen million dollars. In, in addition to that, we also have some series two thousand two bonds that were issued uh, about almost ten years ago. And, uh, the uh, the principal amount initially was thirty-five million. Uh, currently, the bonds outstanding on that issue are thirty-one million nine hundred ninety thousand. And those bonds do become callable. 10-1-2012. And as we begin to work with our, our bankers and look at the opportunity and look at the, the current low interest rate environment, we, we realize that by refunding those bonds, uh, new bonds at lower interest rates, there were pretty significant savings. Uh, currently, if, if the county does guarantee this bond issue and we use these to refund this issue, we've got a $1.5 million net present value savings, actually gross interest savings are more than that. Net, net savings are $1.5 million, which is 4.7% of the issue, which is pretty significant. I think the rule of thumb is generally this is greater than 3% and you ought, you ought to refund the issue. If, if we refund the issue without the county's backing, just on the, on the hospital authority's bond rating, we've got still have a savings, but it's not quite as significant as you can see, $370,000. Uh, and a little bit about the ratings, too, the, of course, Hospital Authority has a very strong rating for a community hospital. Uh, we're an A2 by Booties, uh, an A-plus by Standard & Poor's. Uh, so so again, we, we've maintained that rating for, for a number of years and have very steady financial performance. The county, uh, through your good leadership and, and, and management, has a double A2 rating for Booties. So, so fully uh, three notches above what, what the Hospital Authority is and then Standard & Poor's has you a double A minus and grade plus, so, so there's another notch there. Uh, so that's why, because the, you know, it, 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 the bonds are issued with the authority's guarantee and the county's backing, uh, the interest rates when we sell those bonds will be much lower, and that's why you see these savings. But, but these are rates today, we, uh, you know, we will look at what the savings are when we sell the, the bond issue in, in December, I think it'll be early December make sure these uh, savings still exist at that time. <clears throat> that was just on that one bond issue, Greg, the $1.5 million in savings? That's, that's just on the one, one issue, the $31 million, right at $32 million. So our, our plan of finance, as we look at these projects and looked at, at, at what, what we think we should do, our plan is to issue fixed rate bonds in this very low interest rate environment in an amount not to exceed $150 million. So to kind of recap, that is $115 million for the new projects we outlined. And then to refund the bond issue, the 2002 issue, right at $32 million, so $147. So this $150 is a not to exceed number. But right now, the number would be about $147 million. Uh, there would be 30-year 30, 30 bonds. Uh, again, we would, uh, we would amortize the existing 2002 based on their current amortization schedule. So, so those bonds are 15 years in term and they would not be extended. They would be paid out over the next 15 years. These bonds would have a 10-year call we anticipate. So they would be callable in 2021. Uh, and the bankers have run the numbers and looked at really two scenarios. What, what would be our all-in interest cost if the hospital authority just sold these on its own credit? That number is about today about 5.16 percent. Again, on our A2 A plus rating, if they were guaranteed by the county, uh, then the rate would be 4.75. So that, that is 41 basis points of difference, which is a fairly significant interest rate. 
again with the county just, just giving a backstop behind the authorities already strong uh, rating. We would, with these bonds, as we do in all our bonds, uh, establish a sinking fund. And the sinking fund would require us, and this will be monitored by the trustee, to put in one twelfth of the annual principal and interest payment on bonds into a sinking fund at the trustee's uh, bank uh, every month. So as, as principal and interest becomes due annually, the trustee would have the funds uh, available on hand to pay the, pay the bondholders, and then that's, that process will start over again. 